Chapter 620 Flying Dagger. Huo Yuan's face had become pale after releasing a series of explosive attacks. The three soul cores in his body were operating already operating at maximum capacity. Even though he made it seem easy, Huo Yuan had already extended more than 50% of his soul power. This was something he had not experienced after becoming an ultimate duo. Good. Ditian exclaimed loudly. He swung his left fist forward as he released a wave of spatial power. An almighty intent was released at that instant. A gigantic black dragon appeared right behind Huo Yuan as it opened its mouth to devour him. Once again, Ditian ripped apart space as he transformed into a streak of silver before vanishing. Powerful binding and corrosive forces started to infiltrate Huo Yuan's body. However, they were ineffective, as they were instantly frozen due to the effects of his absolute zero. Just when Huo Yuan was about to break out from the head of the dragon, he suddenly spun himself in midair as multicolored light grazed past his body. Huo Yuan felt the side of his body turn numb. The insane energy within the light was actually able to spin his entire body around. The absolute zero temperature was somehow unable to affect Ditian's attack. At this instant, Huo Yuan finally learned how powerful the dragon god's claw was. There seemed to be some sort of extremely frightening absolute power within it. In addition, the pulses of elemental energy, Huo Yuan specialized in ice-type elemental energy. However, the Dragon God's core seemed to possess energy from all elements. Water, fire, earth, wind, light, darkness, and spatial type energy fluctuations appeared at the same time. In fact, they were released in an extremely chaotic and explosive manner. Ditian was not trying to land a heavy blow on Huo Yuao. Instead, he focused on the speed of his attack. In addition, he was able to fuse spatial power and the power of darkness perfectly. Ditian managed to time his attack such that he struck Huo Yuao when he had just expended a lot of energy and was catching his breath. There was no lock-on or any sort of warning. Hence, Huo Yuao was ultimately unable to evade the attack because of how half of his body was numb. Huo Yuao had to activate the three soul cores in his body to fend off the frightening power of the Dragon God. The Dragon Head, which had consumed him, had already disintegrated. Huo Yuao took a step forward as he entered a crack in the space before him. He was able to avoid the Subsequent attacks coming his way. Space flickered as two individuals continually appeared and collided with one another. Flashes of light illuminated the surrounding areas. Both Ditian and Huo Yuan separated from one another every time after they collided. If one were to look up at the sky above the Great Stardo Forest, one would see a sky which was completely contorted. The colors in the sky were rapidly changing as they flickered between radiant golden, intense black, and rainbow colors. Even though they could have been separated by tens of thousands of meters, every single soul beast in the Great Stardo Forest did not dare move at this moment. Within the core region of the Great Stardo Forest, the Emerald Swan, the Myriad Demon King, the Bear Lord, and the Scarlet King were all gathered here. They all seemed to be reacting to the commotion above them differently. The Bear Lord continually released and retracted its dark gold and terror claws as it glared ferociously. On the other hand, the Myriad Demon King seemed to be thinking about something. Meanwhile, the Scarlet King and the Emerald Swan were very worried about Ditian. After all, they were separated by 10,000 meters, and the four of them were extremely powerful soul beasts. Even though they were heavily suppressed by the effects of Huo Yuao and Ditian's battle, they were still capable of moving. The Scarlet King bellowed, Who is that? I don't know of anyone who is able to fight with the beast god for such a long period of time. The Emerald Swan's eyes seemed to be sparkling as it replied, I think Ditian is fighting with a human. I just don't know who he is. I only realized that when I saw Ditian ascending into the sky with a human. Impossible. How is a human able to possess enough power to rival Ditian? The Scarlet King did not believe what the Emerald Swan had just said. The Bear Lord sniggered, Is it the evil eye tyrant again? The Myriad Demon King scolded him, Can you please use your brain? There's no way he can come here right now. He's probably busy trying to prepare himself for the catastrophe which is about to hit him. Unless he has reached the 800,000 year cultivation level, he would have no chance against Ditian. The Bear Lord grunted, So what if he has managed to make a breakthrough? Bullshit. The Myriad Demon King replied. However, at the very next instant, its body started to tremble. All four savage beasts looked up into the sky at the same time as an expression of disbelief formed on their faces. The originally warped sky suddenly became clear as a mystical streak of light flashed before their eyes. Is that really the evil emperor? The Emerald Swan gasped. The Myriad Demon King's eyes widened in disbelief. See that space-time light? The sky above them had already transformed into a different world. The eye of the Asura above Huo Yuan's forehead was radiating a deep and frightening glow. At that instant, it seemed as though it had come alive. Ditian, who was not too far away from Huo Yuan, seemed to be moving very slowly. The surrounding space and time seemed to have become frozen. Huo Yuan's spiritual power exploded like a geyser as Ditian's human form started to give way. Scales started to appear on his human skin. Initially, those scales still seemed to be radiant and shiny. However, very soon, the light on their surfaces started to fade away as they started to fall off of his body. At this instant, Ditian's eyes widened in disbelief. His body started to tremble as it stared at Huo Yuan. Space-time light. Hey, how are you able to use space-time light? Ditian could not believe what he was seeing. As the two of them continued to collide in the air and unleash their demigod abilities, the Dragon God's claw and the Morning Dew Dagger, Ditian had managed to land another blow on Huo Yuao. However, his attack was blocked by Huo Yuao's absolute zero. Following which, Ditian saw Huo Yuao's eye of the Asura release a dark blue light. A powerful streak of dark blue light was suddenly released from the depth of his pupils. When this streak of dark blue light appeared, it was almost as if time had been frozen. Ditian, who was about to go after Huo Yuao, was practically immobilized in midair. The surrounding space time was contracting at an incredible rate. The dark blue light seemed to be moving very slowly. However, during its movement, the sky and earth had become dark blue. At that very instant, everything seemed to have become dark blue. Space time light. This was the evil eye tyrant's biggest trump card. Back then, it was only able to escape from Ditian with his powerful ability. This was effectively space-time power which originated from one source of spiritual power. Space-time power was able to strip the source of spiritual power from all living things. This would cause their source of spiritual power to deteriorate and eventually be destroyed. Back then, even though Ditian was able to severely injure the evil eye tyrant, he was also hit by the space-time light. The beast god took close to a thousand years before finally recovering from that blow. It was apparent how powerful space-time light was. This time, the space-time light had reappeared. However, Huo Yuao was now the person releasing this ability. Ditian could sense that Huo Yuao's space-time light was, in fact, a lot more powerful than the evil eye tyrants. The reason was that Huo Yuao's spiritual power was stronger than that of the evil eye tyrant. After all, Huo Yuao possessed spiritual power which could rival that of a demigod. His spiritual soul core was already at the God level, a level which even Ditian could not attain after cultivating for 700,000 years. Ditian finally learned that Huo Yuan's power did not only come from the Morning Dew Dagger. Ditian finally understood everything. He realized that there was only one possible reason why Huo Yuan was able to acquire the space time light power. Huo Yuan must have gone to look for the evil eye tyrant before finding Ditian. In addition, he must have made the evil eye tyrant his soul ring. No wonder he's so confident of defeating me. That's right. With three soul cores, a demigod level spiritual soul core, a demigod level Morning Dew Dagger, his absolute zero aura, and the sigh of the frozen goddess. There's no way he would not be confident of defeating me. Ditian's pupils had already taken on several colors at this instant. He was mustering all the energy his dragon god's claw could give him. He was trying to stop his source of spiritual power from deteriorating in the space-time light. However, at this instant, Ditian saw a small blue light in Huo Yuan's hand. The light was not very intense. In fact, it was wedged under his fingernail. However, Ditian revealed a look of despair after seeing it. Following which, Huo Yuan's pupils took on a dark color. He closed his eyes, including his eye of the Asura. The blue light in his
A bitter smile formed on DTN's face. Perhaps, this was the look one would give after one was liberated from his or her responsibilities. DTN's body started to tremble lightly. At the very next instant, he felt as though its body was flying. The dagger was sending his body backward as DTN smashed through layers of space. The other world seemed to be beckoning him. The four savage beasts could not believe what they were seeing. Is the number one soul beast in the world really going to depart from this world? Is this the end for the beast foe who ruled the great Stardo forest for hundreds of thousands of years? At this instant, the sky was no longer in its warped and contorted state. The Emerald Swan was now able to tell who DTN was fighting. Who are you, Al? The person who created the spirit pagoda. Why is it him? Why does he want to kill DTN? When did he become so powerful? The Emerald Swan could not understand what was happening. At the same time, she was very saddened to see what had happened. DTN. After releasing that dagger, Hua Yuan had to stay where he was for a couple of seconds. The blow itself had extended too much of his energy. Crying Guan Yin, Guan Yin's tear. This was the Tang Sex most powerful hidden weapon technique. Hua Yuan did not try to form Guan Yin's tears, because he knew that a normal Guan Yin's tear would never be able to destroy Tian. Instead, he used his ghost carving blade, the second blade Rong Nianding had given him. I don't remember being penetrated by any weapon or attack. Hundreds of thousands of years of memories started to stream through Tian's head. Right now, everything seemed to have lost its meaning after he had been defeated by Hua Yuan. When Tian was still young, he had been goaded by the Dragon God. Afterward, the Dragon God had fallen and transformed into two Dragon Kings. Following which, dragons started to fall as a race. Everything until now was running through his head like a tape recording. As his life energy started to flow away, Tian simply closed his eyes. The sensation of being liberated was extremely calming. Even though it was a little disappointing to end just like this, it was ultimately the end. Beast God. Suddenly, Who are you Al's voice entered DTN's head. Who are you Al's chilling voice woke him up from his dreamy state. DTN opened his eyes and was shocked to realize that his life energy was not fading away at a very fast rate. Why is that? DTN immediately looked down at the wound in his chest. This isn't a fatal wound. Everyone at DTN's level knew that attacking the head was the easiest way to take someone's life. However, Who are you Al, for some strange reason, had not chosen to attack his head. This was something which was hard to comprehend. Even though the blade intent and the space time light were ravaging his body, DTN should still be able to survive the blow. DTN did not believe that Who are you Al had made a mistake. This was something which would never happen. Why? DTN asked Who are you Al. Who are you Al smiled. I only wanted to defeat you, and never wanted to kill you. Have you forgotten? I have made a promise to never voluntarily kill another soul beast. Then what about the evil emperor? DTN replied condescendingly. Who are you out answered regretfully. It wanted to kill me. I had no choice but to retaliate. DTN revealed a bitter expression and said, What a lucky retaliation that was. In the end, you have won. Who are you out nodded. At this moment, he was very relaxed. He nodded at DTN and said, Goodbye, Beast God. Perhaps this will be the last time we see each other. However, I still want to thank you for saving my life back then. Without understanding some of your abilities, I would never be able to possess the power I have today. Goodbye, and take care. After finishing his sentence, Huo Yuan waved his hand and disappeared into the space before him. As he watched Huo Yuan disappear, the bitter expression on DTN's face intensified. The Beast God had realized how wonderful the sense of liberation was. Without liberation, it meant that he still had to fulfill its duties. DTN slowly landed back in the great Stardo forest from the sky. The four savage beasts stared blankly at him as they watched him land. They had no idea what had happened up there. Even though DTN was injured, his aura was still powerful and intimidating. The Bear King, who was starting to harbor some selfish intentions, immediately lowered his head in fear. He was worried that DTN was might learn about his disloyal thoughts. DTN waved his hand at them as he moved to the side of the lake of life. The four savage beasts stared at each other before retreating. He did not want to kill me. Ha ha. He did not want to kill me. DTN was overwhelmed by a multitude of emotions. He was laughing and crying at the same time. At this instant, silver light started to form and move around DTN. He did not kill you. Even if he wanted to kill you, there is no way that you would die just like this. You still have a responsibility you have to shoulder. An authoritative voice rang beside DTN. DTN was instantly awakened by the voice as he kneeled down on the ground. It was precisely because he had no intention to kill you that I had chosen not to intervene. If not, I would risk ending my closed door cultivation prematurely to kill him. DTN seemed to have regained its composure as he asked. But, Master, why did you not stop him from leaving? He possesses the power of destiny. That is something our entire great Stardo Forest needs. You also need this power. That mysterious voice replied plainly. The power of destiny belongs to the Duluo continent. It is not something that anyone can just take away as they please. He is going to leave this world very soon. When he leaves, the power of destiny will naturally be returned to the great Stardo Forest. DTN, I know you have been very lonely. It must have been very hard for you all these years. Master. DTN continued to kneel on the ground. Just bear with it for another 10,000 years. By then, I will have finished my cultivation and recovered from all of my injuries. When I return to this world, you can go and travel around as you please. Yes. Thank you, Master. The silver light slowly faded as everything became normal again. 10,000 years might be an infinitely long time for a human. However, it was nothing for DTN, who had already spent 800,000 years cultivating. In fact, there was now a clear deadline for him to anticipate. He could not help but reveal a look of genuine excitement and anticipation. A streak of silver light flicked across the sky as Huo Yuao appeared out of nowhere. The sky and earth had seemed to become completely different at this instant. Huo Yuao could sense how his spiritual sea was bubbling and becoming stronger. The six spirits in his body were also cheering in excitement. He could also sense how the soul power in his body was transforming and taking on a special aura. These changes were starting to surface from his body. DTN was like a mountain and a barrier for him. Now that the barrier was no longer able to restrain him, Huo Yuao had made his final breakthrough. Huo Yuao looked up at the sky as he opened his arms wide. At this moment, he felt that heaven and earth had become different. His spirit seemed to be rising and ascending into a different world. You have succeeded. Congratulations, Yuo. A gentle voice rang in his ear. A faint golden glow started to descend from the sky as it took form before Huo Yuo's eyes. Rong Nyambing was still wearing the same outfit and was happy to see that Huo Yuo had finally done it. He was clear how difficult the path he had taken was. Huo Yuo had conquered more difficult challenges than he had. Teacher. Huo Yuo respectfully cowed out to Rong Nyambing. It was only now that he felt that he was sufficiently qualified to call the person before him teacher. Rong Nyambing smiled and said, To be honest, I'm not well suited to be your teacher. Your teacher should be someone else. I am just someone who took advantage of the situation and found a treasure. If not for me, you might not have had to suffer so many tribulations. Nonetheless, you have managed to pull through all of them. Are you ready? Yes, who are you are nodded fervently. Of course he was ready. He was going to find his beloved wife. There was no longer anything that could stop his heart. He was raring to fly to the other world. Wei Tong, I wonder if you are doing fine in that world. Rong Nyambing nodded as he revealed a serious and solemn expression. He spoke, I am the god of emotions. Humans possess a multitude of emotions, happiness, anger, sorrow, and bliss. There is an abundance of unification and separation in a human's world. There are always positive and negative emotions. What you have to control is the power of emotions. It is now appropriate for me to share more details about our world with you. The Duluo continent, the place where you have lived for your entire life, is a planet. Other than the Duluo continent, there are several other planets in this world. All living things on these different planets possess some form of psychokinetic energy. When this energy rises above their bodies, they collectively form a special place. While this place is beyond the realm of planets, it is still intimate tied to them. It is like a space carved out independently by humans. Hence, humans are usually the only entity allowed to enter this realm. This
happens in the world of the humans. This is true for all planets. Hence, even Tang San can only send his daughter to the continent and seal the part of her memory about the God Realm. This was the reason why both of you were able to meet each other. Tang San had always been observing you. That was why he placed a seal on Tang Wutong. In fact, he has been able to positively influence your development through the little bit of divine sense he has placed in his daughter. Some of the tribulations you went through were actually evaluative measures Tang San had put in place on behalf of the God Realm. If not, you would have had a much easier time. Do you remember the Yin Yang Love Querying Valley? That was one of the tests which was used to evaluate your suitability to become a god. It was then when I saw the potential in you and decided that I wanted you to take over my godly seat. Because Tang San was bogged down by some things which were happening in the God Realm and was unable to monitor you closely, I was able to sneak in and get you to inherit my godly seat. Hence, you shouldn't blame him for what he has done to you. Without the challenges he laid in your way, you would not have been able to achieve what you have today. In fact, he was a much more influential figure in your development than me. Who are you? I listened to Ron Nyambing's explanation as he allowed past events to stream through his head. Some of the things which used to be unclear started to make a lot more sense now. No wonder I was attacked by the powerful golden figure back at the Yin Yang Love Querying Valley. No wonder Wutong has a seal on her which stops me from being intimate with her. No wonder Wutong disappeared after returning to the Clear Sky Sect. Legend had it that the Clear Sky Sect was also started by Tang San, the founder of the Tang Sect. Now that everything was falling into place, who are you? I finally understood everything. Tang Wutong was actually Tang San's daughter. Tang San, his future father-in-law, had been testing him all this while. Ron Nyambing continued. Even within the God Realm, gods are divided into different tiers. The five most powerful gods within the God Realm form the Judicial Committee. Among them are two God Kings, the God of Kindness and the God of Evil. There are also three enforcers: the God of Asura, the God of Annihilation, and the God of Life. Tang San happens to be one of the enforcers, the God of Asura. As of now, the two God Kings have gone to another planet to be reborn. They wanted to experience the ever-changing human life. Right now, the new God Kings are still in their development stage. Hence, Tang San could be said to be the most powerful God in the God Realm. He is essentially the one managing the God Realm now. Beyond the Judicial Committee, the most powerful gods are Tier One Gods. I am one of the Tier One Gods because of how my power of emotions is intertwined with the abilities of the God of Kindness and the God of Evil. I am stronger than the average Tier One God. However, I still pale in comparison to Tang San. After the Tier One Gods, we have Tier Two Gods and Tier Three Gods. There is also a group of individuals called the God Realm Patrol Hunters. All of them come together to form the God Realm. Because of the space limitation within the God Realm, only individuals who possess a godly seat can enter the God Realm. A person can only be given a godly seat after he or she has successfully passed the evaluation set by the Judicial Committee. And when a godly seat is available, he or she would then have to make a breakthrough and ascend into the God Realm. This is precisely what you have to do now. After finishing his sentence, Ron Nyambing paused for a while. He knew that Hu Yuao would take some time to digest what he had just said. Hu Yuao seems to understand what he said in no time. After all, he had always been an intelligent person. Before long, a clear picture of the God Realm started to form in his head. So the God Realm is basically a world that is built above the Dulu continent. It is a world which houses individuals who have exceeded the limitations of our world. Ron Nyambing smiled and asked, Do you understand? Hu Yuao nodded. Rong Nyambing continued, I'm only telling you all this because I want to give you one more chance to make a decision. After all, I have taken advantage of Tang San's situation, and not done as much as what he has done for you. You can now make a decision whether you still want to inherit my godly seat. Of course, you are also allowed to choose to inherit Tang San's godly seat. He really wants someone to help him share his workload. I can also pass what you feel about his godly seat to him. I'm sure he would be very happy to hear that. Besides, I'm sure it will help you get back your wife. Who are you? I shook his head. There's no need for that. I still wish to inherit your godly seat. As a man of my word, I ought to keep my word. Besides, I also should not rely on my father in law to find Wutong. Wouldn't that make me seem useless? Can I ask you to pass your godly seat to me? Rong Nyambing revealed a pleased smile. All right. But I still want to remind you about one thing. Life in the God Realm is extremely lonely and boring. Even tier one gods like me can't leave the God Realm whenever I please. In fact, we can never stay in the world of humans for an extended period of time. Unless we have passed our godly seat to another suitable individual, we can never leave the God Realm after entering it. The main reason why both Tang San and I want to pass our godly seat to you is that both of us want to travel around the world. Both of us want to see if there are any other God Realms in distant planets and worlds. Who are you's determination did not seem to waver after hearing Rom Nyanding's clarification. He spoke resolutely. I am willing to inherit your godly seat. No matter what the price was, he wanted to go and find Tang Wutong. This was something that would never change. Rom Nyanding exclaimed, All right, I have already laid out all the things you should know. Since you are still willing to take up my godly seat, let's begin. Following which, he raised his hands as two lights, one blue and one red, searched and rose around him. Who are you out how his ultimate ice soul power was activated by the lights released by Rong Nyambing. At this instant, Hu Yuao felt the familiar sensation of becoming one with heaven and earth when he had released the ghost having blade earlier. Rong Nyambing waved his hand as the scenery around him started to fade and become illusory. In the blink of an eye, both of them were transported to a sky full of stars. Rong Nyambing continued to release icy blue and fiery red light into Hu Yuao's body. At this instant, Hu Yuao could sense how his entire body was being enhanced. The three soul cores in his body were rotating at an unprecedented speed. Every time a circulation was completed, an immense soul power fluctuation would be released. Streaks of light started to fly through the air as a mysterious intent started to form on Hu Yuao's face. Streaks of starry light began to descend from above as they landed on his body. His surroundings started to become warped as Hu Yuao's past started to run itself like a tape recording within his spiritual world. It started from how he was ill-treated within the residence of the White Tiger Duke, following which, it moved on to the part when he met the Sky Dream Ice Worm and absorbed a million years old ring. Then, it showed him how he met Tang Wutong at Shrek Academy. Everything that had happened to him in the Duluo continent was appearing before his eyes again. He was able to experience his entire life in this short moment. After a short while, Hu Yuao opened his eyes again, only to see a smiling Rong Nyambing. As he stared at Rong Nyambing, the color in Hu Yuao's pupils seemed to have become fainter. It was almost as though he had aged and had comprehended more about the laws of the universe. The energy and power in his body were undergoing a complete transformation. His three soul cores started to melt as the ultimate ice, spiritual power, and spatial power in his body started to fuse together. A brand new power was forming. His spiritual sea started to take on a pure golden color. His spiritual sense was becoming illusory as the divine sense he had once detected from Electrolux started to expand from his spiritual sea. Everything about him was being enhanced at this instant. Rong Nyambing raised his hands as a mystical crown appeared at the top of his head. The crown had two colors, icy blue and fiery red. There seemed to be some mystical fluctuations radiating from the top of the crown. Who are you out immediately felt the emotions within him. Happiness, anger, sorrow, bliss, love, hate, and disgust, changing and activating. The morning dew dagger on Who are you out's body transformed into a streak of blue light and returned to Rong Nyambing. Rong Nyambing's seven daggers represented the seven different kinds of emotions. In order to hand his godly seat over to Who are you out, Rong Nyambing had to first take his power back from him. The seven different daggers represented the water, fire, earth, wind, light, darkness, and spatial elements. These were the seven daggers that belonged to Rong Nyambing, the god of emotions. Sigh of the frozen goddess, morning dew dagger, roar of the flaming god, positive yang dagger, whisper of the free wind, arrogant sky dagger, melody of the awakening earth, immortality dagger. The brilliant six lights, Jade Pearl Dagger, the all-penetrating dawn,
Next, there was the curse of eternal damnation, the devil devouring dagger, this was the embodiment of true hatred, its black glow seemed to be drawing strength from all sorts of negative emotions within Hua Yuao. Lastly, there was a brilliant golden light, this almighty light entered from the top of his head as it penetrated through his entire body, it was the all-penetrating dawn, the holy radiance dagger, it embodied the power of radiant light. At that instant, everything seemed to come to life as all negative emotions were embraced and converted by the power of love. Yes, it was love, the most powerful emotion among the seven. All seven emotions were now interconnected as the seven legendary daggers returned to Rong Nyanbing. It was evident that Rong Nyanbing was sad to part ways with his beloved daggers. However, he decisively waved his hand as all of them combined to form a ball of light. The ball of light was then released into the starry sky above them. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novel to read.